good afternoon dear students today through this video i will going to explain you about the major pressure belts of the world right so let's take the first major pressure belt which is present on the earth surface that is equatorial low pressure belt now where is this equatorial low pressure belt located what is the location the location is 0 to 5 degree north and 0 to 5 degree south see this here yeah. 0 to 5 degree north and 0 to 5 degree south we have equatorial low pressure belt now why does this region experiences low pressure belt throughout the year the reason being now see this what happens here we have what if we see it here what happens if sub sun is there fine what happens in this region sun rays they fall directly fine so sun rays when they fall directly as a result this region experiences more insulation of the sun more insulation of the sun as a result what will happen the temperature of the region will increase temperature of the region will increase as a result air will going to become warm and warm air is light it rises up fine and as a result low pressure area has been created here in this equatorial low pressure region so that is why we named it as equatorial low pressure belt and where is it located it is located from 0 degree to 5 degree north from 0 degree to 5 degree south number 2 number 2 we have subtropical high pressure belt now subtropical high pressure belt what happens here see this this is the location of subtropical high pressure belt 30 degree to 35 degree north 30 degree to 35 degree south see this here 30 to 35 degree north 30 to 35 degree north this part of the earth experiences subtropical high pressure belt means this part on the earth we have high pressure belt permanent high pressure belt the reason being what is the reason of having the high pressure belt if we relate fine as i have already it told you that per pressure is affected by the temperature if we relate this 30 degree with the temperature 30 degree is not far away from the equator so we can say that here temperature is comparatively higher higher means pressure should be low but this is not the exact situation fine this is not the exact situation why this uh, according to if we see only temperature temperature is high in this area it states that pressure should be low but pressure is not low in this area rather the pressure is high and we call it as subtropical high pressure belt now why this area experiences subtropical high pressure belt let me explain you fine what happens now equatorial low pressure region what happens here in this region warm air rises fine warm air rises and from equator the air will move towards the polar region as the air will start moving towards the polar region as the air will rise wo yahan pe to warm air hai so air will rise and when the air will rise it will reach the troposphere what will happen in the troposphere the temperature of the air will start decreasing right temperature of the air will start decreasing as the temperature as the air sorry as the air reaches here ठीक है अराउंड दैट इज अराउंड ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री टू थर्टी फाइव डिग्री नॉर्थ ऑफ द लैटिट्यूड्स वॉट विल हैपन हेयर यहाँ वॉट विल हैपन इन दिस द एयर इन द एटमोसफेयर विल स्टार्ट लूजिंग हीट फाइन विल बिकम कोल्ड विल स्टार्ट बिकमिंग कोल्ड एंड आई हैव टोल्ड यू कोल्ड एयर इज हैवी सो इट विल गोइंग टू सिंक हेयर fine it will going to sink here fine thereby creating high pressure belt so again i am explaining what will happen from equatorial low pressure belt the air will start moving towards polar region fine but when the air will reach approximately here 25 degree to 35 degree latitudes what will happen the air is in the troposphere right now what will happen here the air will start losing heat the air will become cold air will become cold kyunki the air is in the troposphere fine that is around 10 km to 12 km as a result what will happen temperature of the air drops in the atmosphere so temperature of the air drops and air around about 25 degree to 35 degree north what happens similarly 25 degree to 35 degree south what happens here the temperature of the air decreases and air becomes cold and i have already told you cold air is cold air is heavy so it will start sinking here thereby creating subtropical high pressure belt okay now this is the same thing same mechanisms happens here also that air from equatorial region will start moving towards polar areas but what will happen here the air will start losing the heat as it move away from the equator and air will become cold it will start sinking and thereby creating high pressure belt here in this 30 degree to 35 degree uh, south of the latitudes 30 to 35 degree north of the latitudes and thereby air will going to create subtropical high pressure belt why because the cold air is there okay so this is the reason that this area experiences subtropical high pressure belt yet this area experiences high pressure belt now number 3 we have see this subpolar low pressure belt now what happens here subpolar low pressure belt what happens here see this 
location this belt is located from 60 to 65 degree north 60 to 65 degree south here see this 60 to 65 degree north 60 to 65 degree south of the equator now what happens here what happens here up again if i relate the temperature fine if i relate the temperature with the pressure according to it according to the distance of this area from the equator it is 60 degrees away from the equator near the polar regions so the temperature is comparatively low in this area so if we correlate this with the temperature it state that this area is experiencing low temperature so this area must be experiencing high pressure but this is not the exact situation why this is not the exact situation let me explain you now what happens here now what happens from polar high pressure belt to subpolar low pressure belt easterlies are coming here also from subtropical high pressure belt westerlies are going towards subpolar low pressure belt so what is happening here two winds are converging here fine here also two winds are converging here fine so when these two winds are converging here what is happening let me explain you now westerlies what is happening here as the westerlies are reaching here westerlies are warm winds easterlies are also reaching here now westerlies have reached here they are warm winds so they are warm winds warm winds are again light they will rise up into the atmosphere and what will happen to the easterlies as easterlies will reach here fine now don't forget that earth is also rotating so earth is also rotating because of the rotation of the earth this area is experiencing one force and the name of the force is c e n t r i f u g a l centrifugal force so this part is experiencing centrifugal force or centrifugal force kis pe work kar raha easterlies now what will happen because of this rotation of the earth centrifugal force is generated centrifugal force is created this will force the easterlies to away to move away from the earth surface now easterlies have moved away from the earth surface as a result what happened as i have already told you that westerlies are warm winds they will rise up they will rise up though here the low pressure area will be created subpolar low pressure area will be created and what happened to the easterlies wo subpolar low pressure belt mein pahunchne se pehle hi because of the centrifugal force they moved out fine they moved out here fine right? so this is the mechanism which works here in both the hemisphere and that is why this area that is from 60 degree to 65 degree north of the latitudes 60 to 65 degree south of the latitudes we experiences subpolar low pressure belt so that is why we have called it low pressure belt because throughout the year this area experiences low pressure okay now fourth subpolar high pressure belt now what is the location of it what is the location of it 85 degree to 90 degree north 85 degree to 90 degree south here yeah. fine 85 degree 90 degree north and here now what happens here what happens here again as equator may sun rays fall directly fine but what happens in polar regions sun rays are slanting so sun rays are slanting as a result slanting uh, sun rays means less insulation fine so this area experiences less solar energy this area experiences less insulation of the sun less insulation of the sun means low temperature so throughout the year these polar regions they experiences low temperature so because of this because of this what happens low temperature air becomes cold cold air is heavy so it will going to sink down it will going to sink down here thereby creating high pressure region throughout the year so whole year fine whole year this area is experiencing low temperature whole year this area is experiencing low temperature so that is why air becomes cold cold air is heavy so it will going to sink down thereby creating polar high pressure belt polar high pressure belt fine so this is the mechanism and what happens here throughout the year air temperature becomes air air temperature is high fine because of the temperature is high so air is warm warm air is light it will going to sink so throughout the area this area experiences low pressure and here it experiences high pressure and the mechanism here that is subpolar low pressure belt subtropical high pressure belt i have already explained the mechanism which is responsible for low pressure belt and high pressure belt in these respective regions okay now see this di uh, see this movement of winds the red arrows 
fine they are marking the movement of winds on the earth surface which winds they are permanent winds these winds are those winds which do not change their directions now what happens see this northeast trade wind southeast trade wind northeast trade wind so why are we calling them northeast trade winds kyunki ye kahan se aa rahi see this relate this to this diagram northeast direction so they are called as northeast trade winds see similarly here southeast trade winds fine so they are coming from southeast direction see this here fine similarly westerly fine they are coming from west direction ye yahan se is direction se aa rahi so they are west direction going towards east direction so they are called as easterly similarly here also westerly they are coming from west direction so they are called westerly and here easterly they are coming from east direction so that is why they are called as easterly fine and now the movement of these winds how are they moving see this i have already told you that wind always move from high pressure area to low pressure area ab yahan pe kya ho raha see this here easterlies are blowing from high pressure area to subpolar low pressure area southern hemisphere also high pressure area to low pressure area similarly westerlies are blowing from subtropical high pressure belt to subpolar low pressure belt see the see this fine so high pressure to low pressure similarly here also high pressure to low pressure trade winds subtropical high pressure belt to equatorial low pressure belt see this high pressure to low pressure similarly here also subtropical high pressure belt to equatorial low pressure belt so these are when we have this permanent pressure belts on the earth surface winds always blow along with the pressure fine along with the atmospheric pressure so these are the three winds which are permanently blowing on the earth surface whether summer season winter season these winds they do not change their direction so these winds are st stable fine sorry they are not stable they are permanent winds they are always blowing throughout the year summer season winter season whatsoever especially this region experiences summer season this region experiences winter season so yahan pe these westerlies will blow in the same direction fine their direction will not be affected why because we have this permanent pressure belt located jab ye nahi change ho rahe to automatically the winds direction will also not change fine so this is this is all about the major pressure belts and wind system of the world fine you look into the video again and again go through the topics and i hope you will going to understand okay thank you and take care of you all of